The pro-life movement became very important to me when I recognized that um, that the abortions that I personally had had really affected me deeply. At 19, I went to my college health center. I thought I had the flu, took a pregnancy test, and then that day I found out I was pregnant. I was shocked. I had no idea, and I was so terrified. The nurse that helped me, she was kind, she was compassionate, but her form of compassion was handing me a referral for an abortion. She told me I had the rest of my life ahead of me, that I had everything going for me, and that having a baby wasn't gonna be in my best interest at 19 and in the middle of college. So I went to the abortion clinic, and at that point, they still didn't give me any other options. and I wonder if I had gone to a pregnancy center like ours, if I would have had a different experience and a different outcome. I wonder if I would have made a different choice for myself if I had known that there was support and that there was someone that would actually care and help me. And in that time, my biggest fear was disappointing my mom. It was abandonment of my family. I wanted to make her proud. I wanted her to be happy. I wanted her to know I was doing well. And the idea of being pregnant was terrifying because I didn't want to express that to her. But had I spoken with someone that encouraged me, told me that, um, you know, she might be mad at first, but at the end of the day, she'll probably be really excited. I think that would have changed things for me. And that's what I didn't receive. That to me isn't care. That's not compassion. What we offer is a place where she can look at all her options, and that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be on the front lines, really caring for the ladies and the girls that come into our center that are, are undecided. They don't know what they're gonna do. And it, it, I think it makes a difference to know that there are people that are there for them, that care for them.